he really is. I hate that music. It's okay. garbage, man. I'm sorry. I mean, garbage, but music, yeah, music, music as in what? Just make the his production? Some of those songs are garbage, garbage to me, man. He mm -hmm. can rhyme. Mm -hmm. But somewhere in there, like, See, like some of those albums, like, you know, like, 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 hi, my name is, hi, like, oh, well, yeah, stuff the, like that, you know what I mean? Oh, no, garbage. It's, it's you know, it did, the, 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 one of the last songs that he did, like, the hook that he came the up with, the you problem, know what I'm saying? This, like, this like is that really stuff, to, to kid, to like, kids. that ain't. The kid, like, the yo, kids put an argument sound though. Bombing too, like sound bombing too, Eminem. Mm -hmm. Let Eminem get on. Don't sell no albums. You just get up there and rap, killing everybody. No, but but the kids point though. To me, that's how I just feel about it. Biggie mm -hmm. is what I and I said before. He basically the Gale Sears of hip hop. Yes. He got injured. He can, he in the Hall of Fame, but even though Gale Sears tore his knee up, only played five years. Mm -hmm. He still got in the Hall of yeah. Fame. Yeah. But that's what, what? Hang on, hang on. And you, that's what Biggie. Biggie is is that is that. Is that guy? Mm -hmm. So, but the point where Biggie does, or where Eminem does have biggest effect that because well, he got shot, is that he has a, a, a lot of product to go back on. Well, now, the same okay. thing with a, from a battle perspective, mm -hmm. I understand if you could say j just it was the, the, the if they were the battle, that could be a toss up. But okay. as far as quality of work, I'm not even talking. And see, and that's where everybody's okay. missing missing my point. All right. I, that's where everybody's missing my point, and this is what I try to describe and tell everybody once we were, once we first got into this argument. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not saying okay, who has the best albums? If you want to compare that, oh, Biggie all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about if, if you took, if you got if Eminem he's still here right now, if he's still here Biggie, right now, Eminem, and, and we Biggie, going at it, and we we just going at it. I think Eminem got that's Biggie. It. I'm sorry. I, I mean, it's it's you can argue your point. It's Biggie, argue point. Biggie, it's not Biggie, Biggie, Biggie was a great, Biggie you know was a great lyricist. But, but the question was never who was a better freestyler. That was never the question. Who was who's just a better rapper? I mean, if, if who was a better battle? If I that was that was my comment. I said if if they were to battle, you that, and, that, and, that, up, and that's though, what I said. And, and, and this is my problem right here. Okay. There's so many different avenues in hip hop now that we got everything confused and it ain't the same. Battling and rapping ain't the same. And you can't not. say who's a better MC, Biggie or, you know what I'm saying, Biggie or Eminem. We can't say that because what are we talking about? Are we talking, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. See, Biggie, are we talking about who go who go say the, the illest lyrics and Biggie, ride this beat the best? Biggie, or who go stand back to back in front of each other and battle and make the crowd, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's two different worlds, that's you know? All I, that's all I said. I said, look, if they were to get, if they were to stand toe to toe, battle. Okay, whether it was whether it was and then go at it and then go you at know, it. You know what you're saying? But you know, got the backlash. I really so can't. I really can't tell you who would really honestly win. And you it's really, just, it's just you my really personal don't opinion. know who would really win. Here's that. the thing. Here, here's the thing. I think that even though let's say Eminem may may get him. I think that Biggie is a little bit more slick with his words. I'm about to say tip than people give him credit for. I think Biggie is still slick, slick enough. He very slick enough. I think he would be <laughs> slick enough that he, he would got, be able he to be on some with serious Eminem. Jones side. Because you see him when you see the movie when he's out there in them streets. Yeah, see, that's how he used to get at. He used to get at kids. He used to get because he would take your strong point, no matter how dope you were. Yeah, take your and, strong point. And, tell you where and he's just so slick. Now, and it's hard point, to get on a, on a free tip, To your point, M or Big or. Uh, Biggie, you know people. Everything that people, say, everything that people say about Biggie is this: he's a funny as the funniest dude they ever know. Yeah, you know. So if you already a funny dude, mm -hmm. you it's already gonna reflect. You it's know, already gonna reflect. Skits was, you know, I even like skits. Mm -hmm. Biggie skits was funny. Mm -hmm. so you I, already I, in I, trouble. You already. Yeah, yeah. If you got a comedian, you got a battle against a comedian. Funny. You in trouble, you know especially I mean? if he's street savvy at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing about Eminem. Is Eminem was a white boy that grew up around other mm -hmm. black boys, and he had to fight he his way. Yeah, 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 he yeah, had yeah, to. Yeah, he yeah, fought yeah, his yeah. whole life. Yep, yeah. mm -hmm. and he yeah. still fight. Right. So that's a you know yeah, that's just one I of the things. I think that, that David Chappelle skit when he said, you know, what I'm saying, do you ever see like a group of thugs, and you always see like one or two white boys in, in, <laughs> yeah. in, in, in the club in the, in the in the group of thugs. Yeah. And he's probably the craziest dude in, yeah. in, in that group of people because yeah. God knows what he's done to get that. He had to fight to, to, to be around them. Black dudes respect. I mean, yeah. it, he was in a wrestling team, so he don't get tired. <laughs> at all. <laughs> he gonna be here all day. You know, you so gonna see some fans, and you go, ah, I honestly, like, uh, Emin, like mm -hmm. Eminem, dog, like, like I, I but, hate when I hear, like, you know, these songs and stuff. Like, you know, the I love the way you lie and all of this stuff, and it's like, well, I like that song actually. But, but that, that again, that again, I'm not talking about. Like, hey, I'm not talking about his his, his I think catalog. So, I think he's so much better. Than what he's he's dumbing himself down to yeah. sell that stuff. I listen to sound. He got to the guy he I listen. To, I listen to sound bombing too constantly. Mm -hmm. And it, no, but see, this is the thing. He don't have to. He's he's white. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to do the stuff we do. 
to get to where he need to be. He don't have to dumb himself down. Eminem mm -hmm. can still spit that spit that stuff without dumbing down, and they still go respect him because he's white. Well, in my opinion, yeah, well, no, no, but it is where you might be wrong because think about this: sound bombing was before he became Eminem, so he don't rap like that no more. Think about we we talked. Hang on, we talked about this last week. About Eminem's canes. His canes is different now than what it was back then. Now, I hate the now, way he now, rhymed now. Now, 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 what I was no, 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 you know what happened? He was sound bombing too. When he was at the peak of his career and he made that movie and everything, he went back to his roots. That wasn't that. That wasn't Slim Shady that was on Eight Mile. Mm. That was that same dude that was on Sound Bombing. Mm -hmm. When yeah, he did yeah. Lose Yourself. Yeah. Lose Yourself was the dopest track he ever made to me. Oh, without that and Stan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, without question. That and Stan. Right. And he revert when he now when you make music like that, he could do that all day. You know he could cause he you know he did them with ease. Yeah. You know he did that yeah. with ease. Okay. You know, and and that and that's my whole thing. Like I, I would just like to see more of that out of Eminem because we need more of that. And he really the only one that's really out there that's in position to really get to doing that stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all try yeah, to well, he messed to... around. He don't now nah, you don't let Ash Roth get the pothead crowd. I bust it now. Ash, <laughs> now, no, now Ash, and, and, and see then and Ash Roth ain't coming out with no high, no slim shade. No, That's he, my whole issue. He coming bro. out with just him to, he, he coming he out straight real. He, he ain't gotta sell no albums to sell albums. And he's dope. And see this <laughs> the other thing is too, they don't okay. need record okay. companies no more. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dang, so we ain't got a dang selling they soul on that BS no more. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, and that's just how I feel about Eminem, because I know he got with Dre, and he had to make his money. Mm -hmm. That's fine. No, God, and God bless him. He made, God he bless him. Yeah. And that's what the early 2000s was about. And see, we no, all know that, no, but he's yeah. reverting back. And it ain't, and it ain't like, I ain't trying to jump on you about saying, like, oh, yeah, you Eminem fan, Eminem garbage. Yeah. Da, da, da. No, Eminem is crazy dope. I just don't like what the music that he sell, because mm -hmm. he's so much better. Then what's going on the album for him to sell? That's my problem because I know he's so much. It's, it's kind of like a daddy yeah. knowing you ain't doing what you supposed to be out there doing. Yeah. You know well, what see, I mean? You want his production to step up. That's what well, I see, want. Well, I'm not talking about his production. I'm not talking about his albums. I'm just talking about raw skills. Raw skills. I'm just talking about raw skills. And y'all trying to he did come out this year. He came that. out this past year. And he, I want to punch y'all square in the mouth. He. <laughs> <laughs> ain't right what y'all did to me today, man. I'm so mad. Hey, I, I, ain't did, I ain't did you know nothing. Oh, you ain't did nothing. You said I'm more, I'm more hip hop, and I ain't hip hop. Oh man, well, you, you know, but you, nah, I just oh, no, I, I'm, I'm gonna salt you about that. You still you in know, the church? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call no, you. No, no, I'm in the it's, pulpit. No, it's, it's, it's still in the religion. You know it's a different. You know, it's all the same. No, man. He know. People you just got different. I gotta call. Y'all just don't go to. Y'all don't go to the same denomination. Denominational church. That's all I say. I'm Pentecostal. He's still coaching. Yeah, I just had to let y'all. I just had to let y'all. Y'all don't go to the same church. That's all I was saying. Y'all don't go to the same church. Y'all don't believe. Y'all don't go. Worship it on Saturday. Yeah. It's real about it. <laughs> they shout and sing and, and tear the church up yeah. and they in there till 5 30 in the afternoon. Yeah, we in there for five hours. Y'all out by 12 45. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right, fellas. That's, All right, that's the cipher after the. Yeah. <laughs>